Yep. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. Last year, Emmy nomination, again this year. You tend to, your character tends to make people cry. <laughs> um, myself specifically. Are you planning to do that again this season? I don't know. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, just to get an opportunity to come back and, and explore William again is going to be, um, it'll be very special for me. It's really nice to get the nomination again this year and um, knowing that I won it last year and to come back and not have to be so stressed about it, you know, and so I'm going to just enjoy this process day at a time and just take it as it comes, you know. I love it. Now, what can we expect from your character? Can you give us any hints? No idea. To be honest with you, I have really no idea. Um, my character wasn't on that much last season, so I'm not sure where they're going to pick up, whether they are going to pick his character up, how they're going to do it. I have no idea. You know, I'm excited at the idea, the thought of it. So we'll keep that, uh, we'll hold on close to that and see what happens. Now, is it different playing in flashbacks than actually playing the character live? You, is your process different? No, not really. You know, just because of the way they film it, you know, and you already know that um, there is flashbacks. So it's really just about filling in those blanks that people didn't see before that you know of about his life already, you know, so... Um, hopefully they'll pick up on that this season. Now his character was very musical. Are you musical in real life? I am. I'm a very I'm a jazz aficionado. I actually went to school, wanted to be a jazz musician before I became an actor. So I have an extensive library of jazz, and I'm I'm sort of a pseudo historian, you know. So I think a large part of that's what William we brought with William, you know, that that love of music and jazz. So. Um, Hopefully we can explore that also, you know. I love that. Now, I hear that you are an avid poetry writer. Is that true? I started out reading poetry at the New Yorican Poets Cafe in New York. Yeah. It was the big house for all poets, writers, actors, musicians. Uh, Rome Neal and Miguel Agarin, who, you, who uh, still run it, actually, Rome Neal. So, um, yeah, man, that's where it was at at the time, you know. So uh, I did my first play there. And that's what embarked me back on a career as an actor. So um, I have a lot of love in my heart for that place. It's sort of like, um, sort of like where I, everything started for me again, all over. I love it. You have that jazz vibe. I could just talk to you all day. Thank you very much. So congratulations. I'm so excited, and my fingers are crossed for the double win. Good. Keep them crossed. That works. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so much.